Hello and welcome to the Understanding Narcissus YouTube channel. Thank you for joining. I This video is going to be kind of a short little follow-up to my last video because I just wanted to further um, extrapolate somewhat what I said about narcissists carrying the seeds of their own destruction. Because that goes into another idea. That's a deep idea within itself, and I hope I covered it sufficiently in the last video. But it also leads to another idea when you look at it a different way, when you kind of uh, rearrange everything, that is very helpful and very um, life-affirming, I think, and gives you a lot of hope. And that is, and I always, um, I always really try to accentuate this in my recovery um, programs and my recovery uh, material and information, is that the narcissists they are toxic and they're poisonous, but with somewhere in there is the cure, because it, your entire your entire interaction, your relationship with them, is that there's these overtures, not really overtures, but the thro the lobbying of the illusion at you, and you having to grapple with it for who knows how long. Sometimes, by the way, decades, unfortunately. And, but during that process is a process of a very kind of primal learning, acquiring the understanding that. Ju just how, of course, just how destructive these people are, but also learning that they're wrong. Because narcissists sort of embody all of your fears and, and exploit them. That's why they're so successful. And they do it um, somewhat passively, they're somewhat really instinctively. Some of it is at the surface and they, and they comprehend it, but some of it, it's like reflex, just like an instinct that they've... Uh, adopted or really really had to acquire so that they could survive in their own life and upbringing but for you what it means is that however painful it is there is something enlightening about it because and there's also something extremely general um as a general principle extremely powerful about it and life affirming because it allows you to once you beat it, it allows you to do so many different things you didn't know you could do and that you weren't aware you could do. And once that starts, that just keeps coming because you realize everything was myth. It really knocks down all kinds of walls and sort of almost makes you stronger than when you were before. Because if you're, let's say, let's take, this is, a, this is kind of a thought experiment, but it, I think it's very practical and very accurate and very real. And let's take someone who's apt to um, supporting narcissists. Let's take somebody who's been abused and so is therefore just a prime target for a narcissist to um, control, bring to the life, start a relationship with, whatever, so that they can become a, a codependent and the narcissist has a parent to look after them. If that person, let's say that a person doesn't attract narcissists like moths to a flame and that they never come across a narcissist in their whole life their life is still going to be pretty abysmal because the the very thing that attracts narcissists in the first place even if a narcissist never exploits it it's still a problem and it's never going to be dealt with it's still a, a deep issue that that person may feel is a defect but it's really not it's really a result of abuse it has nothing to do necessarily with them they may be more prone to it for other reasons. Maybe there's genetic, um, genetic considerations, but for the most part, it, me, um, you, I'm betting, and the people I've met, they it is a conditioned response. It is something that usually a parent they had to deal with, who, for whatever reason, just kind of removing all the all the backstory for a moment they were forced to in order to survive they had to support somebody in a dysfunctional way and so therefore they are predisposed to propping up people who really can't support themselves who 
for whatever reason, are unable to improve themselves and have come to rely on the, it's really kind of the personal patronage and sacrifice of others to get by. It doesn't have to be a narcissist. And that's an important point I always like to drive home is because a lot of, a lot of us weren't necessarily raised by narcissists, though a lot of us are. Um, I certainly was, um, but I know people who simply had, a, who grew up in an abusive situations and really didn't have a choice. And then, so when they come across people with the most inflated egos in the world, I think, they have no choice but to cater to them, to bend over backwards, to please them. And the narcissist knows it, the narcissist exploits it. But within that, so we have this, not a defect, but a very deep problem. Your experience with the narcissist can help you re realize and resolve that problem better than anything else. I know it's a roundabout way and it's extremely painful and it's not the mo maybe the most optimal way, but that is a firsthand experience that will force you to overcome it. And that's something I always tell people um, in my recovery information. And it's so overpowering. That's such a powerful concept that takes a long time to really comprehend. But I think it is true, and I've seen it several times. Now, I haven't seen it in mass, so I'm not saying it applies to every situation. Um, but it's certainly been true for me. It's certainly been something to overcome um, where I do feel like it, without that experience, you're crippled for life, even if a narcissist never exploits you. You, you still have a, 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 a terrible problem a terrible insecurity and desire to fix it by helping others because you're a good person that you will live the rest of your life. And if you don't overcome it, if you don't realize the whole dynamic of the situation and that your own history, you never will. And so that, and that's really the key to understanding why narcissists can control you so well is because if you're still falling for it, you still have that in there. You still feel guilty. You still feel like you're responsible for things that you aren't. You still blame yourself for those kinds of things. And that's really what they're banking on. That's what they're riding. That's what they're um, using to maximum effect. And within that process, there is a cure. It is the solution. Now, unfortunately, it means it damns them because they're never going to get better. I don't know how to improve them or change them, but it does help you. Now, in the longer term, we can help reduce the number of narcissists in the world. And that's kind of another, as far as one of my life goals, that's something I'm trying to do. And if you think about it too, it's not really an aggressive goal because it's not like you're eliminating people. You're just removing the terrible pain and crippling damage that was done because they're, they're, they're defective. They're broken. I don't know how to fix them, but we can fix them. and We can help raise people who aren't narcissists. That's kind of the mission statement and mantra of this channel. So I hope you liked this video. Hope it was useful uh, to you. Share it with somebody you think might like it. Uh, comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.